Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the error connection timeout error you might be getting when you're browsing the internet. So if you're trying to access any specific web page, you might be receiving an error of this nature. So in this brief tutorial, I'll walk you through a couple of different ways on how to hopefully resolve this issue. So one possible solution would be to actually turn on and off your network router. Um, that would be a manual process by just unplugging it from the wall or if there's a reset button you could just reset it that way and that could definitely have a chance of resolving your issue. If that's not going to work then we're going to move on to the next solution which would be to run a command in the command line. So we're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then go up to where it says command prompt admin in parentheses and left click on that you receive a user account control window, select yes. So now in the command prompt we want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. Make sure you spell it correctly and then you want to hit enter. Now what we want to do is type in ipconfig space forward slash all then hit enter again Now you want to type in is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, then hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. At this point, you want to type in. So you want to type in NET SH space INT space IP space set space DNS. So it should basically read net int IP set DNS. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And now at this point, the last command we're going to enter is net SH. So net SH NET SH like we did before, space winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. So net SH space winsock space reset, and then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard. So it'll prompt you to restart your computer. So at this point, we're going to restart our computer, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So try your internet again. See if you are up and running. If for some reason you're still having issues, we can change our proxy settings. We would just right click on the start button. Go up to where it says network connections and left click on that. Now go underneath whichever active internet connection you can see here. And you want to right click on it. And then select properties from the drop down menu. You want to select internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. And then once you click on that, you want to left click on where it says properties right here. The second area of this page underneath general should say use the following DNS server address. Left click inside of the circle. And now we're going to change our DNS server to a Google DNS server, which is completely safe. And it might actually notice some speed enhancements on your internet experience. I'm not promising that, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. So we're going to type in 8, and then using our mouse, we're going to click into the next area. We're going to type 8, 8, 8, 8, and then the alternate DNS server, we're going to do 8.8.4.4. Make sure you build on each one of these evenly. Do not put them all in one area, or else you're going to have problems with your internet connection. So 8.8.8.8, and then for the alternate DNS server, it should be 8.8.4.4. It's very important, it's critical you set this correctly. If for some reason something goes wrong, just click on obtain the DNS server just automatically to basically undo this in case you really messed up. But it's not really the end of the world, but I'm just trying to help you guys from getting a headache. So once you've typed it in exactly how it appears on my screen, 
you're going to click on OK. You can close out of our internet connection property window and you should be good to go. So I showed you guys three methods on how to hopefully resolve this connection timed out error and I hope at least one of them works for you guys. So thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.